There was a time when the greatest baseball player in St. Louis wasn't named Musial, Gibson, or Ozzy. In fact, at one point, our most feared hitter wasn't a Cardinal at all, but a Brown. Though he has a statue outside Bush, the memory of his play slowly fades in time, but a local minor league team is ensuring his spirit stays alive. Baseball fans are pouring into the Gateway Grizzlies game tonight. Oh, it's unbelievable. But many are here for a team that's been dead for 65 years. I think it's nice to keep to keep remembering of the old ball players and the old ball teams. It's Browns night at the ballpark, as in the St. Louis Browns. I mean, the turnout is just unbelievable already. The lines were so long. Browns jerseys, Browns pictures, Browns beer, even a living Brown. Ed Nicholson played on the last team in 1953. Got in the last one and drove in the last one around ever. I'm a trivia question. <laughs> but most importantly, we want to present this to you. It's an honorary night for the most famous Brown of all. The very best of the best, George Sisler. I think anything that we can have that makes my memory of my grandfather uh, brings it to light we love. In attendance tonight are dozens of George Sisler's grandchildren. To understand that they're, that he's still remembered by as many people as he is, it, it, it's gratifying to us anyway. Sisler was a Hall of Fame first baseman who batted 340 over his 15 year career, one of the greatest hitters of all time. Brand Tricky once said that he was, in his opinion, was the smartest ball player ever to live. Which is why the Grizzlies are making tonight all about him. Sisler is the first player to be honored at what will eventually become a Browns Wall of Heroes here at GCS Credit Union Ballpark. With the help of the St. Louis Browns Historical Society, the Grizzlies are resurrecting Sisler's memory. Obviously, we're biased but we think our grandfather uh, represented St. Louis really well, and uh, I think he'd be really happy that this is going on. And they hope to keep the memory of St. Louis's other baseball team alive for decades to come. He was more than a ball player to us, he was just our grandfather. But there are a lot of great grandkids here today and great great grands here today that never got to know how much people liked him and appreciated his ability as a baseball player. The Grizzlies hosted their first ever Browns night last Thursday, which should be the first of many. Audrey?